You know, a lot of people, dogs are a big part of their life. And having a dog that acts right, behaves right, can be a great joy. One that's a total idiot is never a great joy. So today I like to do things, this is Lucy. She's four, four years old, she's a master hunter. Um, she's the perfect color. She's a fox red uh, Labrador retriever and she loves to retrieve. We've got another dog we'll bring out in a little bit named Rip. Just kind of show you the difference in the dog's temperament. Same thing with people, people are a little bit different too. She's a, she's a uh, fireball, likes to go real fast. She's always excited, uh, just about the right size. Next guy we bring out, he's big. He's a little slow, but he's pretty cool himself. You know, in this dog, there's, a, there's an innate ability to want to just pick stuff up and retrieve it. That's just what they do. God gave them that. And there's just a desire to, to go get this thing. So it didn't take anything but what God gave this dog. I don't really take a lot of training for that. And a, a blind retrieve, it's a little bit different. A blind retrieve is a, a bird that's gone down or a mark that's gone down that they didn't see. And so in a hunting scenario, you may shoot a, a bunch of ducks and you have one that sails out here 100 yards and, and crashes. Well, you want to make sure you get that duck. So again, a mark is a retrieve that they see down. And it's really the ability that, they've, that God's given them that they use. And they're excited about that. So I don't have a thrower today, so I'm just going to throw it. Lucy, Mark, sit. So I just throw this out here. She has to sit there until I send her. Now, this is not normal. They want to go. They have a prey drive, so they want to chase everything they see. But it's not time to go till I say to go. And it's not time to go till I say her name. I can say George or Bill or Frank or Howard or whatever, and she won't move. But as soon as I, Lucy, Lucy, a little confused. But as soon as I tell her to go, she goes, she picks up the bird. Good girl. Heel. She's got to bring it right back to my side. Here, sit. Good. Leave it. Sit. So all that, we're using what God gave her, the ability that God gave her, but at the same time, we're putting parameters on that and we're, we're directing that so that it, she does what she's supposed to do correctly. No, ma'am, heel. See, like that. <laughs> but it's in, them, it's in them to retrieve. It's in them to do something. You know, God's put great things on the inside of you. He's put greatness on the inside of everybody. There's an innate ability for you to do what God's called you to do. It's called the grace of God. He's graced you to do great and wonderful and mighty things. But it's got to be with discipline. Here, heel. Heel, sit, a little rusty today. But the discipline isn't without a reward. And so a lot of times, you know, we look at discipline as something, oh, this is hard or this is bad or, or all that. It's a teaching. Disi discipline means, the root word of that is disciple. It's called, it means to teach. So you're teaching this dog that it's gonna be better. It can't mark the bird if it's out there running around. So I'm gonna give her a release. I'll explain to you what I mean. I'll give her a release and she'll miss this till I direct her. Hey, 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 hey. See, she could have missed that as I threw it out to the side. If she's sitting next to me here, heel, sit, leave it. No, ma'am, heel, sit. If she's sitting there calmly and watches this, sit, she knows exactly where that went down. Lucy, Lucy. So she'll go get the bird. Good dog, here, heel, heel, sit, leave it, sit, no, ma'am, sit. So her discipline there is just teaching that, hey, there's a reason I want you to do this. There's a reason I'm having you to do this. And a lot of times we look at, at disciplined life in God and we think it's rules, regulations, and you can't do this and you can't do that. God's wants the best for you. And if you're always flying by the seat of your pants or there's no discipline to what the grace of God on the inside of you, you'll never get a really good picture of what he has for you. I'll give you an example. A lot of times God's put something in you and, and you really got it strong and you know what you were supposed to do, but there's a process to get there. And the process, no ma'am, sit sit the process to get there is 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 being relaxed the process to get there isn't hard it isn't a drudgery but the process to get there is step by step by step and pretty soon you're there and you don't even really realize how you get there so we've got a marked retrieve marked retrieve is one that she's picked up that she saw and then a blind retrieve is completely different a blind retrieve we're going to send her to a spot that she doesn't know anything's there it's just out there i've got an orange pole out there so i know where i put the where i put the bumper and I'm going, to, I'm going to turn her around. Heel. Good. Here. Line. Now I'm going to direct her where to go. Look. Pretty good line. Good dog. 
and that's pretty good. I didn't even have to handle on that. But notice I didn't use her name there. I used the word back, which just means get away, go back this way. But this that we just did, this is a finished product. This isn't something that, that just happened. This is something that she had to be taught. This is something that's in her to be able to do, but it was my idea, heel. Good, heel, sit, leave it. No ma'am, heel. It's something that God put in her, but then I had to direct that. So it was more my idea that she sits on a whistle, or that she goes where I want her to, sit, no ma'am. That I go where she's, I tell her where she's supposed to go. The same type of thing happens with us and God. There's certain things that are our ideas and God gets involved with it and says, man, that's awesome. There's certain things that are God's idea, but he wants you to listen to him and respond to him. So when I send this dog, I'm, I, there's nothing out there now. Heel. Fine. Look. When I blow the whistle, she turns around and looks at it. Here. Good dog. Good. Good. Heel. She takes my instruction. When I blow that whistle, she knows to stop. You know, the same thing happens. You got God living on the inside of you. Sometimes God will blow that whistle say, hey, 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 wait. I want you to go another direction. You almost thought it was time to go, didn't you? I want you to go another direction with this, or I want you to go through the process of, of listening to me and hearing my voice, because I'm going to show you exactly the best way, the easiest way, and the correct way to get to where you're supposed to go. So again, he may put something out there. It's what I call a carrot. You know, it's a carrot out there, something you're striving for because it's a God idea or God on the inside of you. And as you're going that way, he's got lots of things for you to learn and lots of places for you to go. And he's directing your path. The word says that the steps of a righteous man or woman are ordered of the Lord. That means that everything you do is ordered of God. God's got a plan for you. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10 says you're his workmanship created in Christ, which he, he planned before the world was, was even formed. And he says he's planned for good works that you should walk in them. Man, everything that God has is good for you. It's good works. It's things that you should be excited about doing. It's things that make you do, uh, it's, it's your hot button, it's your, it's your wheelhouse. It's things that really excite you or motivate you. You know, I used to have a good friend in college and they always said, man, I'm just, I'm afraid to really give my life to, to God completely because he'll send me to Africa. Let me tell you something, if God sends you to Africa, it'll be the greatest thing that ever happens. You'll be excited about it. It won't be a drudgery. You know, I hear people a lot of times say, well, I'm just, I'm just living for God, just suffering for Jesus. You know what? Then you're really not. Because if you're, if you're really living for God, you're more, more fulfilled and happier and, and have the greatest life you could ever even imagine. You're pinching yourself all the time. You know, what I do in pastoring a church, uh, a lot of times there's part of it that I don't like. I mean, I, I don't like. I don't like certain aspects of it, but I'm, I can't imagine doing anything else. And the parts that I don't like is maybe having to correct somebody or, man, I hate, you know, when somebody's going through a hard time. I want to be there for them, but I just hate it for them. There's parts of the job I don't like, but all as a whole, man, I love, I love what I do. I love the dream that God's given me. I love every part of it. He's given everybody and everyone a dream, a purpose in life to do something. And it's on the inside of you to do. It's, it's up to you to listen. It's up to you to, to grasp what he's saying and how he wants it done. So I want to really encourage you. You know what? There's things that God's put in your heart to do. There's, there's ways God's called you and motivated you. And it's going to be different than anybody that's ever lived. Just like you'll see with all these dogs we bring out today, the three dogs we bring out, they're in different stages in life, and they're completely different personality-wise. They're, they're, they're off, the, off the chart different, but they still have a passion. The passions are still the same. They want the bird. They want to, do, they want to please you. They want to make you happy. And so in all of us, we've got gifts that differ, but it's all good stuff. It's all wonderful things. It's all things that, that God put in you, before the foundations of the earth and it's good works that you should walk in them so i want to encourage you, you know what find out what it is a lot of people just go through life and think well this is my lot in life you know what you can change that god wants it awesome for you not you beating up get beating your head against the door every day walking out thinking oh, i hate my life i hate this i hate this man there ought to be an excitement in you you know if you're working at burger king and you may be thinking you know flipping burgers at burger king is no big deal if you realize who god's made you and what you have and what's on the inside of you, listen to him, man, you can be praying over those burgers. I'm telling you, uh, people can eat that because what you prayed over that food can do something in their life. It can change them. And you'll get to heaven, there'll be a line of people said, hey, I ate your hamburgers, from, I ate your Whopper, and uh, God ministered to me. Man, we put so many things in such a small box. We need to expand and let God be who God is. Let God be who God is on the inside of you. Let it out. Don't hold it back. Don't put it in a box. Don't think just because there needs to be a discipline to my life that it's a, it's a bad thing. It's a good thing. 
it's it's a way to live that causes you to be a joy to, to everybody you come in contact with and a joy to yourself. So I want to encourage you as we get going today, man, relax. Let God minister to you and have a good time. We are a company that believes. Believes in hope. Giving. It's the most important thing we do. Whether it's a warranty, maintenance, or a car purchase, your business helps share our belief. Thank you. A company living by the word, Nelson Auto Group. If you don't have a church and you're looking for a good church home, I want to invite you to come visit us. Life Demonstration Church, going 129th between 81st and 91st on the west side of the street. We meet on Sunday mornings from 9 to 10. We'd love to have you. And I promise it won't be church like you've ever had it before. God bless you. Lessons in lifetime warranty. Enjoy your brand new clothes, Mr. Maxwell. Thank you. with the lifetime warranty. I think I got the wrong size. At Nelson Nissan and Broken Arrow, lifetime warranty is guaranteed on every new and used car. No questions asked. Well, welcome back. This is Grand River's letter rip, call name Rip. As you can tell, he's a year old, big, big fella. He's got a black jacket on, so we're gonna get him in the water because uh, he doesn't handle the heat quite as well. But again, you'll see the difference in the two dogs. One's real hyper and excited and even had a hard time sitting there that long. He's gonna probably eat grass and take a nap. So, but he's still excited about this. Rip, sit, mark. That's a real nice pose you got there. Rip, just a puppy, and you just notice he'll bounce a little bit, kind of kangaroo looking. Here, good dog, good. Heel, sit. But still very excited about what he does, but just a little bit different temperament. And again, we've all got different things God's called us to. We're not all the same. We've got the same God on the inside of us. You know, somebody will say, well, so-and-so's got a gift of this, or so-and-so's got a gift of that. And it's part of, most of the time, what they're talking about is just being a Christian. It's just the fact that you got God on the inside of you. It has nothing to do, zero, a call, it has everything to do with just the fact that God lives on the inside of you. He's just doing the work of a Christian. But then there are parts where we all have a different part to play. No matter what your call is or what your gift is, they're different from everybody else, but it's the same God on the inside of us. It's not some different God and, you know, or somebody's up here and you're down here. As a Christian, we're all called to do certain things. But as, as far as healing people, getting people born again, filled with the Holy Ghost, all the stuff, any Christian can do it. Any, every Christian's anointed to do it, to bring heaven to the earth. Everybody's got that. But again, listening to God, it's about having a relationship. You know, most people's relationship with God is based on what somebody told them, not really who he is. So this relationship that I have with this dog, he learns to trust and it's a simple thing that whenever I'm telling him to go somewhere, I'm directing him there so he can get his prize. He loves to get these bumpers or the bird or whatever. So as I direct him there, he's got confidence that I'm sending him to the right place. So again, we ran her to a pretty short blind. We're gonna go a little further here. And we're gonna, like I said, he gets, he gets pretty hot because he's got a big black jacket on. So we're gonna line him up and watch the difference. She took off pretty fast and she goes hard and it's going to be more like a Clydesdale with this guy. Heel. Heel. Line. Here. No, here. Here. Line. Here. Come on, Rip. Here. Look. See what I mean? Look! Look! 
Pull up. I like the way I fly. Good dog, man. Huh? Like I said, now that was slow, quite a bit slower than Lucy. Still did the job, still went out where he's supposed to go, still got his prize, still took every cast just like I wanted it. I even lost him down here for a while, so he came out a little bit crooked. I had to cast him a couple times in the water, but he took all my instruction. Now that doesn't just happen, that takes a lot of work, and this is the end product. This is what they do at the end. You know, what God's called you to do, you may start out small and it's going to grow into something huge. You know, Jesus and his ministry didn't start out raising the dead. He started out with a withered hand. He started out at the beginning uh, changing the water into wine and pretty soon he's commanding storms and then he's causing uh, 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 walking on the water. He's doing all the stuff, but he didn't start there. I don't know if he's going to make it back. <laughs> Different temperament different things we're all different in the way god made us but you're an expression of god here come on sit good shake thank you sit good but we're we're all an expression of god that the world's never seen before and the world needs what you have the people around you need what you have it may not be like anybody else it may not be the same as everybody else but it's individually tailor-made perfectly for you so again you see the difference in the dogs and it didn't just get here this is the end product we're going to bring out a dog here in a second and show you how to start just to get started get him excited god does the same thing for us so hang on we'll get another one we'll be right back lessons in lifetime warranty enjoy your brand new clothes mr maxwell thank you Lifetime warranty? I think I got the wrong size. <laughs> At Nelson Nissan and Broken Arrow, lifetime warranty is guaranteed on every new and used car. No questions asked. Hi folks, I'm Billy Ray. We've been serving up smoke to perfection barbecue for the last 22 years in Tulsa. Billy Ray also serves fried catfish fillets. Best in town, everybody tells us. We have daily lunch specials and all you can eat catfish every night. One of the big favorites is a dinner for two that has baby back ribs, catfish, smoked chicken, and five side orders for $15.99. We do all kinds of catering, so give us a call or come by and see us, and we do appreciate you. Well, we're back. This is Chief. He's four months old today. Uh, as you can tell, he's, he's just a puppy. He likes to chew on everything. He always has to have something in his mouth. Kind of like some baby Christians, I know. Um, I'm teasing. But he's excited. Notice there's not a whole lot of discipline here or he won't sit still very long. He just wants to gnaw on you and all that. So what we're going to try to do, you just saw the finished product. This is how we're starting. We just want him excited. We, there's no rules really to this or anything. He's just, we just want him to go chase something. We want him to have a good time. We want him to associate everything that he does with retrieving something just as a blast. And when he gets older, so he's already finding this, hup, up, up, up. hey, 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 hey. Good dog. Good. Good. Atta boy. Come on. Good. Here, Chief. So everything he's doing is just he's excited to get that thing. That's his prize. The same thing happens. You know, you get born again, everything ought to be exciting. And, and even you saw the other dogs, they were excited to go get their prize. They wanted to go do what they were supposed to do. This is how we start them. We just let them, I'm not calling him back much. He's running around, he's going on the truck right now. 
just having a good time, just enjoying what he got. And as we do that, we'll start expanding a little bit, putting a little bit more regulation to him. As he gets about another month or two, we'll start making him sit on, the, sit there and watch as we throw something, has to go, can't go till we tell him. Uh, then we'll start on some different things, some different programs that he's going where we tell him to go, start teaching him how to sit on a whistle. Right now we're just teaching him how to chew a bumper under the truck. But it, it goes from little bitty baby steps of just little bitty things. We don't jump from him being four months old to him being a year old and going on a 100 and 200 yard blind water blind and a long water entry. We just, we, it's little bitty tiny steps. Get him used to the water, get him going short distances, get him fired up about what he's doing so that he's focused on that. But at the same time, there's an excitement to that. God's put things on the inside of you. There's an excitement. There should be something very exciting about it. But most of the time, as we get older, because things become a little bit more structured, we lose our excitement. Man, you can tell these dogs are at different stages and they're different in their personalities, but they're still excited about what they're gonna do. And really that starts when you first get saved. You know, when you first get saved, you're excited that you're born again. You wanna tell everybody. And then something happens and religion gets a hold of us and starts putting all these rules on us and it kind of beats the excitement out. It's so that you're not really quite as thrilled about Jesus as you once were. And you know, I'm a church guy, I pastor a church, so um, it kind of sounds weird to say what I'm getting ready to say to a lot of people, but just because I'm a pastor doesn't mean that I'm sitting there going, you know what, if you don't go to church, you're going to hell. If you don't do this, you're doing this. There's no rules and regulations. God said to go to church, why? because it does something to you. It's around people that believe like you believe or think like you think, and it keeps you excited. It keeps you motivated. It keeps you going in a good direction. So again, if you're in church and it's become rules and regulations and it's a drudgery, man, maybe you ought to have a relationship with God. You know, so much of the time people say, well, the, the, the end all to everything, hello, chief, welcome back, is, is getting plugged into a church or doing that. And I'm not against that at all. I mean, I pastor one. But what I'm saying is, it, that's not the end all. That should be just a product of what you do or who you are. The end all is Jesus. Jesus is the reason, Jesus is what we're out there for, and Jesus should excite you. And what God's called you to should excite you. Just like it excites this dog. Chief, here, up, 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 up. hey, 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 come on. Good dog, get your guy, come on. Get your guy, let's go. Hey, 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 come on. Get your bird, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's excited. He wants to get going. He wants to, he wants to do it all the time. Come on. And you never want to do anything to take that out. And you know, with, with Christians, we don't want to do anything to take it out either. We're going to leave everything in, in the Word, make it exciting, make it fresh, make it new. You know, if it's not exciting to you and it's not fresh to you, then something's gotten in there and made it stale. And it's your job to, to have a relationship with God to the point where you're happy about it, you're excited about it, you're thrilled about it. And again, religion, I keep saying that, but religion really takes you to a point where nothing's exciting anymore. And if you found out you didn't have to go to church, you probably wouldn't. But you know, a relationship with God, you wanna go because you're in love with God and there's, it's more God, it's an aspect of God and you enjoy it. Man, I wanna challenge you, you know, if that's happened to you and you're kinda, of, man, it's everything's kinda of reading the Bibles as, as a pain and uh, going to church is a pain and doing this and this is a pain, you know what, you need to refresh your excitement in God. It's not hard, it's easy. It's become a drudgery. Hey, look at how you're doing it. Are you doing it out of works? Or are you doing it out of because of a love walk? <laughs> God bless you, we'll be right back. I'm Bobby Nelson, and it's time. So take your We're ready. Let's live again. Oh yeah. Voted best car for under $20,000. All new, all that. 2010 Mazda 3. Starting at $16,000 at Nelson Mazda. If you don't have a church and you're looking for a good church home, I want to invite you to come visit us. Life Demonstration Church. We're on 129th between 81st and 91st on the west side of the street. We meet on Sunday mornings from 9 to 10. We'd love to have you. And I promise it won't be a church like you've ever had it before. God bless you. We are a company that believes. Believes in hope. Compassion. 
giving. It's the most important thing we do. Whether it's a warranty, maintenance, or a car purchase, your business helps share our belief. Thank you. A company living by the word, Nelson Auto Group. I want to encourage you to look into Jesus. Not a denomination or not, not a program, but just into Jesus. See what he said about you and how he's, he's always for you and never against you. And I know today we went through a kind of a shotgun thing with dogs and just a different temperament and all that. But you know, I, I used to work at a church and, and the pastor there was, was, a, was, a, was a black guy and he could, he could uh, sing and preach at the same time. It was awesome. And he did all this stuff. And you know, I tried to imitate that in the car and it was a disaster. I mean, you have to be who God made you. Well, that was cool and it was good. And I wish I could do that and I can't. Um, you know, you got to be who God made you to be and be the way he made you. Just like we showed you with these dogs and you know, they're different temperament, different stages in life, but they all have one goal in mind. And the prize that we've been given is the high call of life in Christ Jesus. It's a great life. It's a great time. But it's, it's a high call and we all get there a different way. And we all get there at our own speed. And we all get there the way God called us to get there. So I want to encourage you, you know, you don't have to be like anybody else. You need to just be like the way God made you. You're an expression again of God that the world's never seen before. And they need to see it. They don't need to see another rule, another regulation. They don't need to see another cookie cutter. They need to see somebody living the life just the way God planned it, the way God called them. So if you don't have a church, I want to encourage you, come visit us. We're on 129th between 81st and 91st. We know Sunday mornings from 9 to 10, 15. It's an hour and 15 minutes. I promise you, you can beat everybody to the buffet after church. We'll get out earlier than everybody else. But it'll be a short, but it'll be powerful. It'll, it'll, it'll change your life. The Word changes your life. It won't be religion. It'll just be God. God bless you. Lucy and I say, thanks for watching. <laughs>